Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another lockdown edition of PG Tech Vlogs. So in this video, we'll be talking about how you can improve your video taking and your photography as well by using these two simple lens adapters. Now, one of them actually helps you improve your videography and your photography by giving you more lens options compared to one that actually not only gives you more lens options, but also gives you a fuller frame and as well as a significant aperture reduction on your photos and videos. Now I have with me two lens adapters. First is your basic Canon lens adapter, which actually gives you more options, not only to use EFS lenses, but also gives you the option of using EF lenses as well by using this adapter. Now I bought this lens adapter for actually $200, which is actually pretty much expensive compared to the Viltrox Speed Booster adapter, which I actually just purchased at around $150 on eBay, which is actually brand new as well. The difference between these two adapters is that first and foremost, your Canon basic lens adapter is only like literally your basic lens adapter. It doesn't have a lens inside, but it does give you the power to actually use EF lenses and connect it to your EOS M camera. On the other hand, your Viltrox Speed Booster adapter here not only gives you the option of using EF lenses, but also with the lens inside of this, it also gives you an almost full frame view of your shots. So that 1.7 image crop done by your APS-C camera would gradually be reduced to a 1.2. Not only that, you'll also get a significant aperture reduction, such as if you're, for example, using the Nifty 50 EF lens for Canon, you can actually get a gradual reduction from a 1.8 aperture to a 1.2, which means it's more depth of field, more blurry background, and basically more bokeh. Oh, and I almost forgot, with your Viltrox Speed Booster adapter, like your Canon Basic Lens adapter, you can actually also control your autofocus with this as well as have manual peaking settings on manual mode. So it's pretty much like your Canon basic lens adapter, but upgraded by a lot. Okay, so right now I'm showing you two photo samples. Each shot here, one taken with using the Canon basic lens adapter versus the one using a Viltrox speed booster adapter. As you can see with the Viltrox Speed Booster adapter, there's actually a very significant depth of field happening on the background. As you can see the bokeh effect happening with that Speed Booster adapter. As you can see as well, there's that significant 1.7 APS-C crop, which is actually not good compared to the 1.2 crop of the Viltrox Speed Booster adapter. Now, Beat said that, what are the disadvantages in actually using the Viltrox Speed Booster adapter? Well, actually, there is very few, if I would say so the least. Now, the first caveat that I have here with the Viltrox Speed Booster adapter is that it just gives you a very, very, very small, non-significant reduction on image quality. You practically won't notice it. Now, the second caveat that I have here is that being that it is an EF mount, it can only cater to EF lenses. It doesn't cater to EFS lenses nor RF lenses. But here's the thing, you won't be in a disadvantage actually just having this with the ton of EF lenses that Canon actually already has from its DSLR camera. So, you know, you'd be set for good. You, you're quite all right with this. Now, I bought this from eBay at around $150. And if you ask me, I'd rather you invest in a Viltrox Speed Booster adapter rather than just buying the Canon Basic Lens adapter because honestly, it'll give you not only more lens choices, but also it'll give you that almost a full frame shot and also a significant reduction in aperture as well. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and also, hit that bell icon for any more future notifications. Until then, I'll see you on the next bit.